again, ladies. Okay, here's what we're going to do first. First, we're going to take some Urban Decay Primer Potion. And we're going to take some... I literally just put one line across. Oh, this wasn't good. One line across. Hold that up. And I just spread it with my hands. Hope you guys can see. I'm like determined. I put some under. I put it all over. It doesn't really bother me. If it looks stocky up to the brow bone. Because I am someone who um, contours my eyebrows. I don't really have to bring it to my brow bone. Because I have concealer under my thing. But just make sure there's some under the eye. Because I do put makeup under the eye. Then I take my skate paint pot. The lid should be on. But I just took it off to make it faster. My 252 brush. You're going to take some. Which I already did. And then you're going to put it, oh man, I have some Urban Decay on my nose. Anyway, you're going to put some on the lid, and you're going to spread it out. I bring it a little past the crease, only because all the colors that's on my eyes are going to be green. Put a little more for the other eye. It was like determined. So, you know, I kind of blend it out with my hands a little bit, just in case, just for even consistency. Okay. Advice to you ladies, make sure you close the paint pots. They do dry out. Then, okay. If I didn't really tell you guys, I do love my 239 brush, but I recently fell in love with the 213. So, I'm going to take the 213. Dip it in graffiti with the lid. I just figured out I should have used Lucky Jade Shade Stick. But to me, a green is a green is a green. So, okay, I'm making sure you guys could see. I get it in. I mean, I normally pack it in, but with this brush, you don't really have to. You could if you want, but you don't really have to because with for some reason with this brush, I don't know. I just really like this brush. I recently fell in love with it. Okay. Now that you made sure it's all in, it's all packed in. Perfect. You're gonna take your two seventeen. Your two seventeen. And we're going to dip it in NARS Night Porter. And you guys already know I love the Night series. And you're going to dip it in with your 217 brush. And you're going to go in your outer crease. Really work it in there. Before I go and turn it anyway, I just make sure I really get it in my outer crease. Kind of do circular motion, circular motion. And you bring it forward. But I like my outer crease like really dark and more defined. Kind of stop in the middle. This is not enough for me personally. Don't worry, it's all going to be blended out. Not that dark on this side. Kind of get it in. Bring it forward. I'm still here, I'm still here. I just know this is a little messy. Take my 182. This is why I do my um fallout. I do my fallout. I do my foundation later just so I could fix any fallout that I may have. I kind of go for it towards the end. And then this is going to be, I would take my 231 
my MAC 231. This is what I love to do in the inner corners. I like this for inner corners, and you kind of go in. Put it in the inner. Now, this is weird about me. I love my Mac 239, but I've been using it. I'm using Scratch, Urban Decay Scratch, as my highlight. And I've been loving it as the highlight color. Ironically enough, I've been only using this as my highlight. It looks so harsh right now. You guys are like, wow, how is this going to look when I'm done? But, we'll see. Alright. Now, I take my 224. Okay, really blend everything out. All the crease, all this. All the dark, all the green. Make sure it's in. Try to do this close because it's looking really sloppy. This is what I'm using to line, my lower lash line is the piece. I don't want to lose the night for in this look. For eyeliner, I'm going to use Tarnish Eye Co. I'm just gonna line the waterline with it. It's a nice green. Then, for harshness of any everything, my all over blend, I go back with everything with my 227. You know, and I just make sure everything is all even. There's no harshness in anything. You know. That's what I pretty much do. For mascara. Again, you guys know I'm feeling my telescopic. L'Oreal telescopic. Finally got some Carmax. I don't dislike it. It's just, you know, a little tingly feeling. That day when I did the tutorial, I don't remember what I had on my lips. Oyster Girl is what's next to me. I just, you know. But anyway, this is the look. I mean... I don't know. I didn't find it difficult. I thought it was quick, simple. Like a green smoky eye with a pop of blue. You know. I would have normally top. I should just line my top lash line. I really don't like the top when I do such a bright green. I guess I'll line it with my harness. So I lined it with tarnish. This is the look. I hope you like and stay tuned for more tutorials. Ciao.